In this video, I'll be showing y'all the top five mods I've done on my Jeep Wrangler so far. Stick around because you might be surprised by some of the things that are in my top five list. Numero cinco. For the fifth spot, it'll be the wheels and tires on the Jeep. The bigger tires make a huge difference while off-roading. I'm running 35s, they're not even that big, but I've only gotten stuck a couple of times, and mainly it's whenever my front bumper gets hung up on something or if there's just mud that's like three feet deep or clay. Hello darkness, my old friend. Also, as a bonus for the wheels and tires, you get more ladies. <laughs> Hey buddy, you're still recording. Oh, oh my bad guys, hold on, let me get to the next one. Numero quattro. For the number four spot, it'll be the Kevlar on the outside and the inside. If y'all don't know what Kevlar is, it's essentially the stuff that they put in truck beds. So it's scratch resistant. So if you're going through trees or things like that, or if you know you get a little bit dinged up on a rock, you won't scratch your paint, which is really nice. I like it because the wooded areas around here in Texas, there's a lot of them. Definitely nice to have Kevlar because then you don't, then you know that you're not gonna scratch your paint. It also adds a very nice rugged look to the Jeep. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but this thing in person looks dope. I've had a lot of compliments on, oh, where'd you get your Kevlar done? Oh, dude, that's dope. I've been meaning to do that. So for the Kevlar on the inside of the Jeep, I have it all throughout the floorboards in the entire Jeep. The reason why I did it is because my carpet was smelling rank, boys. If y'all have done anything with your Jeep, off-roaded it, or if you off-road any vehicle for that matter, if you've been off-road or even get your carpet wet in your car, it will smell like mildew forever. You can't get rid of it. Also, carpet, dude, hides things. It gets things underneath that carpet somehow, and just, it's so disgusting underneath there. It was so nasty. I'm so glad with the way the Kevlar turned out on the inside. I can hop in it with a whole bunch of dirt on my boots, and I don't have to worry about anything. I can wash it out super easily. So that's a major plus for me, is that I'm able to wash it out, wash it out super easily. Compared to, say, if you have carpet, you have to get a carpet cleaner to essentially wash out the carpet in your Jeep. I can pull the plug straight out, and just hose it down with a water hose. It works great, especially for taking this thing out to the ranch. Numero tres. For the third spot, it'll be this bad boy right here. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a 12,000 pound winch from Harbor Freights. It can pull anything out of the ground from a tree to a big old beluga whale out of the ocean. The only thing it can't pull is, is Lizzo. Dude, she's, that's too much. Numero dos. For the number two spot on the Jeep, I will have to get underneath it. For the second spot on the list, it is the hydraulic assist steering up underneath the Jeep by Redneck Ram. The reason why I love the Redneck Ram so dang much is because I can literally be up on the side of a rock or a tree and it just takes a little bit of the wheel and it will move the entire Jeep right off of it. It is such a great unit. Instead of buying the PSC ones or whatever they called, the ones that are really, really expensive, this Redneck Ram, it's out of Texas. I live in Texas, so you know, I gotta support fellow Texans. They make a kit that some would say might be even stronger. It, it is definitely good. It's also a lot cheaper than the PSC kits. The PSC kits, I think is what's 2000. I think it only cost about 700 for this thing right here. And it has done a phenomenal job so far. I don't have any complaints. And also the on-road use as well is absolutely phenomenal. It's probably one of the best things to do to your Jeep, just because of the fact that it helps off-road as well as on-road, especially with these Jeeps that have terrible steering from factory numero uno as y'all can see right now it is nighttime and the reason for that is because the top one is lighting i personally have jw speaker headlights in right now i've had them ever since i got the jeep jeeps have terrible headlights from factory i upgraded them to jw speaker and honestly i used to have a light bar i don't even need that for off-roading i took it off i don't even really need it i will be adding some other off-road lights here soon hopefully from baja designs if they do want to sponsor me eventually that'll be dope lighting is the number one thing i think you need on a jeep for off-roading at night or even just driving down the road but especially for off-roading just so you can see essentially everything on the trail and make sure you can be as safe as possible while you're driving at night hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and if y'all did make sure to drop a comment down below to be featured in the next video and also uh if you aren't subscribed yet, most people that watch my videos aren't subscribed yet, so uh, hit that subscribe button. Peace out, boys.